millions of years ago on earth lived huge gigantic animals called dinosaurs in the process of evolution all these huge gigantic animals became extinct using the remnants of these dead animals to compare against the characteristics of existing animals evolutionary relationships were developed this is how we came to know about the existence of dinosaurs however there are several other pieces of evidences of evolution that suggest a link between the different species In this lesson you will learn about evolutionary relationships and human evolution At the end of this lesson you will be able to define homologous characteristics define analogous characteristics analyze the tracing of evolutionary relationships with examples explain tracing the human evolution define a fossil and identify the methods used to find the age of fossils characteristics are the hereditary traits transmitted from parent organisms to their offspring they can be related to particular appearance or behavior for example we have four limbs that's a characteristic preparation of food through photosynthesis is a basic characteristic of plants characteristics in far related organisms would be similar because they are inherited from a common ancestor such characteristics are called homologous characteristics for example mammals birds reptiles and amphibians have four limbs with the same basic limb layout because they have inherited the limbs from a common ancestor These limbs have been modified to perform different functions. However, all similarities between animals are not necessarily because of a common ancestry. Let's consider the example of bats and birds. These two animals have wings, but If you take an example of squirrels and lizards they do not have wings From this we can conclude that birds and bats are more closely related to each other when compared to squirrels and lizards The wings of bats have skin folds stretched between elongated fingers whereas The wings of birds are feathery covering the arm entirely The designs of the two wings look similar because they have a common purpose to fly Their structure and components however are different Therefore although their origin is not common they serve similar functions This makes it an analogous characteristic rather than a homologous characteristic. Thus, homologous characteristics and analogous characteristics help us trace evolutionary relationships. They are evidence of evolution. Studies on characteristics were not only conducted on the current species but also done on the species that are now extinct how can we know 
that an extinct species ever existed. When an organism dies, it gets decomposed and leaves behind remnants in the soil. These traces of living organisms are known as fossils. Let's illustrate the process of fossilization of an ammonite. On its death, an ammonite sinks to the sea floor. Scavengers feed on the fleshy body, and all that remains is the shell. Gradually, the ammonite's shell is covered with silt and sand. After a few hundred years, the shell gets buried several feet beneath the surface of the earth. Gradually, the shell decays, and what remains is a rock-like copy of the original shell. This is exposed when the rock is eroded by the wind, water, ice, or by the activities of paleontologists. Let's take a look at various fossils. Fossil trilobite an invertebrate animal fossil fish fossil tree trunk the dinosaur skull this fossil was found only a few years ago in the Narmada Valley Mary Anning found the specimen of Ichthyosaurus and was the first fossilist Evolution doesn't happen in a single day. It is a process which takes place in stages. For example, complicated organs such as the eye are not generated by a single DNA change. The eye was formed over generations starting from the intermediate rudimentary eye in planaria to the well-complexed eye in vertebrates. All of these changes are in response to adaptation to the environment. For example, the eyes of the octopus and the eyes of vertebrates have evolved entirely independently. These similarities of structure, despite different origins, provide a classic example of biological convergence. A property that is characteristic of a particular animal may, post-evolution, be useful for performing a totally different function. For example, long feathers were considered to provide insulation in cold weather. Some reptiles like dinosaurs had feathers, but very few were adapted for flying. In the present day, birds use feathers for flight, which is an example of adaptation. This means birds are closely related to reptiles. Thus, we can say, that adaptation is an evidence of evolution. There are also many characteristics to prove evolutionary relationships in plants. In the present scenario, farmers use plants with desirable characteristics to produce new varieties by a process called artificial selection. Farmers have descended all these vegetables from the wild cabbage ancestor. Short distances between leaves gave rise to a new variety called cabbage. Arrested flower development gave rise to a new vegetable, broccoli. Sterile flowers gave rise to the cauliflower. Swollen parts 
gave rise to kohlrabi and larger leaves gave rise to a leafy vegetable kale these changes are observed due to changes in genes which accumulate over a period of time the tools for tracing evolutionary relationships like excavating time dating studying fossils and determining dna sequences have been used for studying human evolution all humans are a single species the earliest members of the human species homo sapiens are traced to africa a couple of hundred thousand years ago some of our ancestors left africa and slowly spread across the planet it resulted in stopping the gene flow and over time it led to the evolution of different races it is very crucial to understand certain things in tracing evolutionary relationships firstly multiple branches are possible at each and every stage for example it is not true that human beings evolve from chimpanzees instead both humans and chimpanzees had a common ancestor changes in dna during reproduction are the basic events in evolution comparing the dna of different species allows us to estimate how much the dna has changed during the formation of these new species in fact there is no real progress in the idea of evolution evolution is simply the generation of diversity and shaping of the diversity by environmental selection the only progressive trend in evolution seems to be that more and more complex body designs have emerged over time however many old and simple designs still survive for example one of the simpler forms bacteria is able to survive in almost all climatic conditions such as hot springs deep sea thermal events and in antarctica in other words human beings are not the height of evolution but simply yet another species in the crowded spectrum of evolving life